Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how to make your high school slash middle school volleyball team. That is so exciting. If you're thinking about trying out, I say go for it. It is so exciting and fun and volleyball is just fun, okay? So why not try out? First tip is just to be yourself and relax. I know that's a lot easier said than done because tryouts can be nerve-wracking, scary, intimidating, short. Sure. You know, I feel like trials are supposed to be scary and intimidating because they're trying to weed people out, okay? They're trying to see who is, who can handle it and who can't. So it's better to be prepared and coming in like knowing, you know, like, okay, I can't control the environment. Like I can't control what other people think, what other people say, you know what I mean? So only, the only thing that you can control is yourself. <laughs> keep that in mind so realize that there's only one of you like there's no one out there who's like you no one who talks like you looks like you unless you're an identical twin but still you still have your own consciousness your own thoughts your own mind you know what i mean so there's only one of you out there okay and that is your strength in that you can do things that other people can't do like that is just the truth and some and people can do things that you can't do like everyone is unique next like you'll play better i promise when you are relaxed like i played my best volleyball when i wasn't like freaking out thinking about oh my god like i don't want to hit this ball out oh i don't want to mess up i don't want to get subbed out whatever it is like playing with fear will always make you play bad period like that is just how it is so when you're more relaxed more confident and just be like you know what whatever ha whatever happens happens i'm just here to like to play volleyball with my friends or just here to play volleyball for fun whatever it is you'll play a lot better promise the next step to making the team is just to be loud volleyball is all about communication yapping 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 like if you ever walk past a quiet gym and there's a volleyball team in there something is wrong like everyone's always talking 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 because communicating is how you play well with others it's how you it's kind of how you survive out on the volleyball court because if you're just on an island by yourself and no one's talking to you, you're not gonna know what is going on. You're not gonna know what to expect. The only thing that you can rely on is your sight. But if you have communication, that's just another way to see what's going on. That also goes into calling the ball, calling out for a set, being like, mine, mine, mine. Like everything is about communication and that is just so important. Because imagine like you and another girl are just standing next to each other, like kind of looking at each other and a ball comes right in between you and you're just like, and you just look at her like, oh, I thought you were gonna get it like no no you have to be like mind my mind take initiative and take the ball like that's just how things work and that's how things will flow especially when you're playing six on six volleyball and next you want to be active like you want to be a leader like coaches like notice things like that I've coached 18s I've coached 15s 12s I've coached a little like in high school like that is what coaches notice that's what they're like drawn to it's like oh, okay that, that girl's assertive like she knows what she's doing she's confident like people will assume that of you if you act that way like fake it till you make it i swear i literally swear by that like <laughs> faking it till you make it like me going from like a d3 school to a d1 school i had to have confidence to do that because most people wouldn't believe in themselves like oh like i don't know if i can make that big jump and i was like you know like you never know like you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take so i was like let me shoot my shot and it and I made it, you know what I mean? So you gotta believe you gotta believe in yourself, like you have to. Next point that draws me to that is be coachable. Please! Because if you're like standoffish, rude, which is never good, like you shouldn't be rude in any setting, but mm, like don't be standoffish to a coach. Like if they're trying to give you a, a criticism, be open to criticism. I know some people have a hard time hearing feedback criticism, but that is just what's gonna make you better. So receiving criticism well is so important because you can't take things personally which is very hard to do sometimes because some coaches do cross that line of being like rude like just like it's like personal but most of the time most coaches are professional and they're not gonna cross that line of like attacking you personally like they're not gonna be like you're so stupid like they're not gonna demean you they're gonna be like you know what um you did not pass that ball correctly this is how you fix it they should always follow up a cor like a correction with a solution that is just my opinion not everyone does that, but that's how, I think that's how it should be. This girl I was coaching in club, she, I was watching her block, and I noticed something immediately that would fix her block. And I told her after she missed the block, like she didn't get a touch on it, she was in the middle, and I was like, hey, come here. Okay, I saw you do this. You're going straight up, so instead of doing that, go press over the net and press into her area, find the ball, and you'll get a block, I promise. Next time she goes around, she does the exact correction I gave her, gets a block. And I was like, let's go. You know, that's how it should be. But she took my criticism and she didn't take it personally. And on top of that, you want to ask questions. That's another thing about being coachable. It's like, if you don't understand what they're saying, what they're telling you, what they want you to do, 
just ask and be like, can you clarify that for me? If he's like, oh, I want you to drop your hand into zone six, you'd be like, what does that mean? If you don't know what that means, that means you want to drop your outside hand that you're blocking on. If you're blocking on in the pin, you want to drop it in so it's facing the middle of the court, which is zone six, right? That, like, ask them to break it down for you because if you don't understand it, you want to understand it in a way that you can understand. So make sure that you're asking questions. And that also leads into being, like, a hustle player. Like, people love when you go all out. Coaches notice that. Like, you're giving great effort when you're communicating, when you're hustling, when you're not walking. Like, I hate that. Like, when I'm like, okay, guys, let's get a water break, and people, like, walk on the court. I'm like, you need to be jogging off the court at least like that's kind of like an old school thing i feel like but like it builds character i promise <laughs> next you want to focus on the fundamentals of volleyball so meaning go back to your basics go back to your core training values and it will carry you through tryouts so that means that really just focus on your platform and your serving that's what i think is important uh when it comes to tryouts because i'm really judging like if i was to coach i'm judging if you can pass or serve because you can't run an offense or play defense without passing or serving, literally. So I'm going to need you to be able to do both. Um, now, if you're young, you know, like middle school, you don't necessarily, like, I'm talking like sixth, seventh grade, you don't, you don't necessarily need to have, like, your overhand serve quite yet, but, like, you will get it by the end of the season, like, if that was me. But, um, you know, typically coaches are looking for girls who are more advanced. Like, if you have your overhand serve, great. And now if you're in high school, if you have your jump serve, um if you can uh pass the ball and in a high school like if you can serve receive like float serves well like that's like really really important stuff so really focusing on your platform keeping it nice and locked out and strong and firm and holding your platform like little things like that that sometimes we kind of slack on really really uh focus on same thing goes for serving like having a nice strong hand holding your contact and that same goes for hitting like keeping a nice high elbow snapping finishing really just being intentional with your movements Lastly, just have fun, like, just, you know, like, just vibe out, because at the end of the day, like, it's either gonna happen or it's not, like, that's just how it is, that's just how life is, so it's better just to have fun and enjoy yourself, because at least you know that you tried your best and you had fun at the same time, and realize that, like, everything's gonna be okay, like, if you err, if you hit a ball out, serve a ball out, hit it in the net, whatever it is, shake it off. It happens, like, volleyball is literally a game of mistakes, and it happens to literally the highest level of players. Like, Team USA makes errors. You know, everyone makes errors, so it's not just you. If y'all like this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see from me. Also, if you have any questions about volleyball, uh, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to reply to them. I love answering y'all's questions. But thank you guys so much. And if you want any more tutorials on serving, passing, blocking, there's a bunch on my channel. And if you have a specific question, once again, leave it down in the comments. Um, like this video also. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!